so keyword research, uh, there's a million different techniques. Um, I'm going to explain kind of a, the, 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 the two different ways. Uh, and, and, and I always like to use this analogy. It's like the sniper approach or the shotgun approach. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, when you're doing key keyword research, uh, there's a couple of things you want to do. One, you want to look at your competitors, um, either directly or via um, a keyword tool. Um, uh, you want to look at, um, you know, uh, use cases. So in other words, like if there's, um, if you're selling a garlic press, but like somebody uses it to squeeze, you know, like you, you've found it, you've done some research on the internet and tons of people are using it to like, you know, um, you know, juice a light cheese or something, you know, like some other use case. Um, those are also good, uh, things to do is to try to research, um, how that, you know, how you can have some, um, keywords, uh, that will market it in a different way, but are still relevant and still sell um, for that. That's something else you want to do. Um, and then also, um, then it comes down to uh, the keywords. If you want to do the shotgun approach or the sniper approach, there's a couple of different ways to do this. One way you can do this, uh, which is what I'll show you later, um, is kind of how we do it, where we actually use as many keywords as we can find, but we split them up into broad phrase and exact. That's kind of the shotgun approach. The other way you can do it, which takes a little bit more time and could take more money, but you could also find keywords that you didn't know about. Um, you know, one way is of course the auto campaign. The other way is um, to use broad matches. So, you know, if you were doing water bottle, you would, you would do a broad match of water bottle. Um, and that way you'll get like, you know, so many matches off that, like any, pretty much any long tail that you could think of related to that word will get caught with broad match. But like I said, you'll probably end up spending a ton of money um, finding out what those keywords are. So those are the two different approaches. I like to use the more targeted approach or, or I guess the shotgun approach in this example, because, um, I kind of already have a good idea of, of what, you know, the, 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 the type of, uh, keywords that people are going to use to find my product. Um, and I'm still also matching by broad, but I'm bidding less. So I'm still getting that research, but I'm not spending a ton of money, which broad can, uh, broad matches can really get away from you, um, in terms of budget and cost per click. Um, so those are kind of the different, uh, ways that you can do it when you're, when you're doing uh, keyword research. Yeah.